This is a very serious situation for our hospitals, and we all need to be a part of slowing down the spread of the virus. Governor Ricketts says we're seeing an average increase of 25 COVID-19 hospitalizations daily. He's now created a table indicating what will happen if that continues. That we will need to take additional restrictions if we don't see a slowing in the spread of the virus and the slowing in our hospitalizations. With 20% of all hospitalizations involving people being treated for COVID, the governor says we're in the orange zone which is why he implemented restrictions this week on extracurriculars, hospitals, businesses, and gatherings. So we need people to please get back into the good habits that we had in the spring. In the spring, we had more restrictions. If we reach the red zone, 25% of patients with COVID-19, it will look more like it did in the spring. Bars will be takeout only. Indoor gatherings will be limited to 10 people tops. Restaurants will have to close at nine. And while the table he provided shows the red zone as the most restrictive, Governor Ricketts says there could be even more restrictions if cases continue to climb. However, he didn't give specifics on what exactly that would be. Some of the things I mentioned earlier with regard to um, uh, uh, restaurants, for example, or elective surgeries and those sort of things, uh, you know, we may have to go uh, more restrictive on those types of items. Experts say changes take weeks to impact the number of coronavirus cases and even longer to see hospitalizations change. This has some asking Governor Ricketts if this move is too late to stop the deadly trend. Again, what we're doing is laying out for folks if we reach different thresholds again, based on hospitalizations, what additional restrictions we will see put in place and giving Nebraskans the opportunity to be able to again take advantage of the fact that we've got these tools we know how they work so please use them uh, all of our npis to be able to slow the spread of the virus and if we can slow the spread of the virus we can uh, avoid further restrictions officials at methodist and chi say it could be eight to 12 days before our state reaches that red zone